Hi, it's One Invisible Songstress, and I do have a new song today. This is a song in the ongoing series that's called Information That's Divine, promoting uh, Rabbi Yosef Mizrahi and his website, Divine Information. And this is part 21. Baruch Hashem, I don't know if there'll be another part, but who knows. This one's called Check Yourself, Are You a Kiss-Up or, or Rebuker? And Rabbi Mizrahi uh, Shlita had the pleasure to read the text of the song, and he said it was, uh, and I quote, he says it was uh, very good uh, and powerful. So hopefully you'll enjoy it too. And the words in Hebrew will be explained underneath the video. So um, first I want to say a disclaimer. You may think that this sounds harsh, but don't be so quick to quote, kill the messenger. Hashem gives very strong words of mustard in his Torah. So are you prepared to go against HaKadosh Baruch Hu Chas v'shalom? You can see this in two ways. First, you need to check yourself. Are you doing things that go against the words of the Torah and do not even know it? And that is why you are having to deal with certain challenges, difficulties, and punishments in your life. The other is to see the type of person you are. Are, are you a kiss up or rebuke her? This can apply to anyone, whether it is a rabbi or any other man or woman. So do you prefer to simply use flattery or do favors to win the approval? Even if the person is a mechalel shabbat, dresses immodestly and is married to and is married to a Goya, knowing that and wrong. But for you, it is important to please the people to make sure you get your donation to the shul, raise at work, or promotion. Where is HaKadosh Baruch Hu in this picture or scenario? Where is HaKadosh Baruch Hu in this picture or scenario? Did you conveniently forget that Hashem Yitbarach gave you life, health, sustenance, and all the abilities you have? And this is the thanks he gets. And this is the thanks he gets. It is a great chutzpah. Ha, 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 ha. As a bar elam can take everything away from you in the blink of an eye. And he'd be left with nothing in this world and in the next. Either by making you poor, sick, homeless, and or jobless, or even worse. Can take your nishama before you had a chance to do to shuva. On the other hand, if you decided to give him musar so that the person would have a fighting chance to make the necessary changes to their life before it is too late, you have done a great and righteous deed in the quar. Quote eyes of Hashem, as even David Hamelach says in Tehillim, chapter 141, verse 5 in English translation. Rather, let me be stricken by the righteous one in kindness and let him rebuke me like the finest oil that my head not refuse it for eternally is my high prayer against their evils don't sing to yourself who am i to reprimand admonish scold and chastise as either the person or people will not listen to me think i am fanatic run the other way or speak less and higher about me saying quote who do you think I am that I have a right to say anything as if our holier than now? And did Hashem appoint you as his messenger? But that is not my problem. As I'm here to tell people the Amet, whether they like it or not, is not my concern. As we have to say what is written in the Torah, and not sugarcoat or leave anything out, and not sugarcoat or leave anything out. If you simply read through the five books of the Chumash, especially Sefer Devarim, or go through any of the books of the Nevi'im, you will read the endless accounts of rebukes by rebuke by Kadosh Baruch Hu, or through His prophets. Those who are righteous do a great chesed to rebuke Saham once, since that will help rouse him or her to repentance and self-improvement. It is unfortunate. When one is caught up in the clutches of the eights or hara and are hardened and stubborn against words of Torah and admonishment, all is not ever lost, 
as long as you are still living and breathing and you have a fighting chance. If you only listen to those who share the Emmet, like Rabbi Yosef Mizrahi, Rabbi Yuval Avad, Rabbi Alon Anava, and Rabbi Yeron Rubei. And I do have links below to uh, their sites. As they care about what happens to you in the end, or else why would they spend countless hours on a daily basis through lectures, videos, CDs, books, articles, emails, phone calls, etc. to share information to help you, to help you do the shuva. All you have to do is put in some effort to show you are at least trying to change your ways. And Hashem will give the assistance you need, as only He can crown your efforts with success. Now when it comes down to the end result, and all the quote cards are out on the table, which side do you want to be on? Remember, check yourself, check yourself. Are you a kiss up or a rebuke? Thanks for listening. One invisible songstress.